are there opportunities for businesses? Yes. Aliko Dangote said something. He said, Nigeria remains the world's best kept secret. And the reason why he said that is this. In the midst of Boko Haram, in the midst of the insecurity, in the midst of this corruption, in the midst of poor education, you find out that businesses continue to trickle in into Nigeria day in, day out to get their own fair share of, of the money. Is it a good sign? Is it a bad sign? I think it is very good because in all respect, we have seen skills shifting from Europe into Nigeria and also develop the Nigerian skill set. We have seen that same interchange between both between countries in Europe, in South Africa, in, in Nigeria as well. And there's been lots of growth. But I think from a business perspective, the real challenge has been the leakages. And that will remain a huge challenge for a while until we really come down to say, this is where we need to be going to from a country. And then when I look at the, the campaigns of both the APC and the PDP, the things that are that I hear every time is, well, we will fight corruption, we will fight corruption, we will fight corruption. Or I hear, well, you're an old man, you are close to your grave, leave it for the younger boys to do the job. Nobody's talking about the economics. Uh, nobody's talking about the, the fact that the way when the Naira falls today, uh, a pound sterling is 320 naira, as against what it was uh, some some six six months ago at uh, 200 and uh, I think 50 naira, which is quite very very disturbing for businesses. Um, and you know, it's, when we look at the way these things happen, it's happening across West Africa. You go to Ghana, some six months ago. A CD was 2.1, 2. Uh, 2. I think 2.1 CD to a dollar. Today, it's about 3.1 CD to a dollar. And these things are happening across the coast of West Africa with the leaders not sitting down to really say, this is the way forward. And it goes a long way to affect other things like the, the, the West African Monetary Zone, their policies to say by 2015 there will be an echo, which I don't think a lot of the West Africans even know anyway you know, know about. So what I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, Nigerians are not looking or they are not really concerned whether this is an APC government or PDP government. We are simply concerned to say, when I get home, will I have electricity? Today we have almost a 48,000 megawatt deficiency of power. Where will that come from? We've got companies like General Electric, coming in to say this is what they want to do, this is how they want to try to fill in that gap. We've got other companies also making efforts to say this is what we need to do. But the question is, as Aliko said, Nigeria still remains a kept, a best, the world's best kept secret. How do we make sure that this secret or this thing that keeps Nigeria on a hold can be let loose so that the lives of average Nigerians can be better. 